Get away. Get away. Get away. I just need my... I just need my frags. Get away! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. It is a very exciting episode today because the tank is officially one years old. I'm gonna need you guys to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on because we got new fish videos every single Friday. So if you were here last week, you saw that the fish tank had a sick birthday present. We did an awesome coral haul where I spent a hundred bucks and got six sick pieces. Some of them are already dead. No, I'm just kidding, they're not. But we're popping off in this tank. Usually you can't really tell that much when you look at something every single day, all, like all the time, but when you compare it to the before picture a year ago, and you look at it now, the difference is crazy. All right, let's get into this tank. This is what my tank is looking like right now, obviously, because I'm filming this video. Check out what it looked like on day one. I did get this tank from somebody before though. They basically had the rocks and two other things in it. So I did a, a new sand bed, and then they had this red bubble tip anemone in there. Check out what it looked like when I got it. I know, crazy. This thing is humongous now. It's super big. So it had him and it also had some of this GSP as well as a big GSP rock that I used to have over here. Some of you guys remember that rock. It was a great rock, but it was having to be trimmed too much. So I took it out for something better. Maybe a torch is going there in the future, the near future. I don't know, you're gonna have to find out if you keep watching. Some GSP also got on the pump there, which I left because I'm gonna let it like grow on the, on the wall. So yeah, that was pretty much everything that came with the tank when I bought it. And then from there, I've just been building and getting new pieces with time. I think, uh, I think these Duncans were maybe one of my first pieces. I didn't think they had grown that much, but then I looked at them here and I compared them to the picture of when I got them. And uh, yeah, they, I think they've grown a little bit in the past year. That mushroom hasn't really done much. And I've had these recordias for a couple weeks now. They're kind of just chilling there. This guy, I forgot what he's called. Maybe LA Lakers or something like that. He's just getting really flat. I got to figure out a spot to put him because he's kind of like twisted up. Moving up to the Zoa Garden. All of these are here. I had like just a little tiny plug on them when I put them there. And now they're like, some of them are closed. They must have been agitated, but they are all underneath. It's kind of a little upsetting because the back of the Zoa Garden Bridge looks better, I think, than the front. It just like, looks fuller and, I don't know, I guess they get less aggravated. All right, so the names that I'm about to tell you for these Zoas, I want you to take them all with a grain of salt because if you know me, you know sometimes I'm not right. And if you don't know me, just know sometimes I'm not right. But yeah, so I'm gonna say the names of what I think they are and um, yeah, if they're that, then great. If not, then sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All right, so I think these were like cat eyes Zoas maybe. Sounds good. Cat eyes. And then we have, hello, excuse me. And then we have over here, the eagle eyes right here. Those are kind of mixed in with mohawks, which I have a little frag right there of the mohawks as well. Uh, I don't remember what those yellow ones are. And then I don't remember what the ones next to it are either. The other ones I believe are birds of paradise. The ones with like the orange center right around there. Those green ones right there are, I believe are radioactives. I love the colors of them, but also have not grown much. These were called something weird too. I don't remember, were they like Pikachus or something? I'm not sure. From the recent haul, we just picked up these rainbow infusions, which I have to, like I said, flip over right now before you guys start yelling at me. This guy's just an A can. He got buried in the sand for a bit and like the left side of him died, but he sprouted another head. So everything is A-OK. -okay. This Hollywood Stunner, huge grower for me. I'm like fragging out pieces. I just can't sell it fast enough. It's just growing like crazy. You could actually still see the frag plug of how big it was. Moving on over here, we got a little Halle Berry garden. I originally put just this frag plug there and it just sprouted over the whole rock. They don't look that crazy in uh, normal lighting, like this, like they're kind of just there. But in the blue light, they look really sick. This, I believe is called a Blasto. Got a couple weeks ago as well. I had one main head and one other one growing. It's now got two of them that are pretty big. He seems to like it in that little area right there. I should probably also mention that my tank started off with T5s when I first got it, 
However, I think like two or three of the bulbs were already blown, of the ballasts I mean, were already blown when I got it. So right off the bat, within like the first I think month or so, I switched to two Ecotech Marine Radions XR30 Pros. They are mounted inside of my lid. When I open it up, I'll show you guys. But I'm pretty sure that is what's making all my stuff grow like off the wall, off the chain, whatever you want to say. All right, so where should we go to now? This bubblegum digi growing like crazy too. It started off with just that little frag. And then if you guys were watching the other video, super gluing, I broke off a little thumb and I ended up just gluing it to the side there. And that's what that like whole entire extra limb is. So I'm glad I glued it back on there. Uh, this guy, I don't know what it's called. I call it a asparagus. I put the main branch up here, but this is where it was before. And I think a little piece must have obviously stuck to the rock and now it's growing there. So I got it in two spots. I mean, it's pretty cool, so I can't complain. He's also started to grow up. You could kind of see the frag plug still right there. This is a little uh, nuclear or something like that. Got him at an auction for I think like five bucks. Slow grower, but he's finally onto the rock. So a little bit longer, maybe I'll pop him off so that way I could uh, frag out that rock and sell it. Above it, green leather coral. Got that one from Jason's tank. It is doing good even after the, the trauma that I put it through with the net. It's still thriving along. This red Monty is growing off of the wall. Literally. <laughs> it started over here where this guy is right here. And you could see obviously a piece also still got stuck to the rock. So it's growing there again. But I moved him back there because I didn't want him to keep shadowing whatever I put below it. So I figured on the wall would be cool. And he's still layering a bit, but he's back there hidden and he's just growing. So I had that piece and then even that, I had so much that I had to break it off again and put it over here. I'll end up taking that one out and uh, selling it as well once I put the torch there. But for right now, it at least gives it a little color. Then we have the grafted Monty. And there you can see the frag and then you can see maybe a little bit of a grafted part right there. There's not too much grafted, only like, or like, there's not too much mixed, I should say. Only like a little bit right there at the bottom. This guy is a green spongalis or some something of that sort. I don't know, nobody seems to want to buy a frag of him. He's very bright, so I don't know why. I guess it's just because he grows weird. He kind of just like has a bunch of little limbs. It brings some color to the atmosphere. Over here, we got the jack-o'-lantern coral. You could see the frag back there and then it's kind of hard, but he's been growing onto the rock as well. That guy, he, I, I feel like they grow a little bit better in the shadow. He might be too high up, but he is still growing fast because I had him on a disc. That's only half the disc. I cut the disc in half. I only have like this little piece of the other half left because I've been fragging it out, which is weird because I think now my side disc is bigger than my mother colony, but whatever, what are you gonna do? I like it better there. This guy is my new, uh, Meteor shower that I got last week for the birthday haul. These are some frog spawns that I got from Jason's tank as well. I can't seem to get them to grow that well. I'm working on it. I've tried to move them around a couple times, but now I'm just seeing what happens if they get comfortable here. Unfortunately, no luck yet. I thought it would be nice to like fill up that area with a little bush of frog spawn. All right, moving up back to the top of the tank, we have this little ear thing. When I had that, it was like a little piece like this. I think I paid like five bucks for it. I accidentally dropped it into one of the holes of the rocks and I completely forgot about it. And then next thing you know, he was just growing out like this. So he's, he's taken off. I gotta cut that little like uh, wiggly part at the bottom. I don't know, it creeps me out a little bit. I gotta cut it off. Over here, I just got this banana, burning banana, I think it's called. Yeah, he's not doing much. He's just hanging out there. This was another new piece from the recent haul. It is a Sunset Monty, looks really nice. Two more guys over here, I don't know what they're called. You could see the frag though, and the growth on them has been crazy. I think I paid five bucks for this guy and like, I don't know, 15 or 20 for this one. And this one, I cannot get him to glue down. Every time I glue him down, he keeps falling off. He ends up somewhere crazy. And I don't know, I'm just hoping that he catches onto the rock, but it's been a year now almost and he still hasn't, so whatever. The Superman back there, I've been having some trouble. He's getting some color back. He doesn't really grown much. Oh, and there's my 24 carat that's also flipped over. I'll, I'll fix all of that for you guys right now, guys. Then we have these mushrooms here, but these are moved from the other side of the tank. So this is where they came from. This was the, these are growing really good over here. 
There was only a couple of them. They came over on the frog spawn stem from Jason's tank. But unfortunately, it's on this side of the tank, which is like in a little crevice. I mean, it's cool because you can see it in the reflection, but I feel like it would be so much cooler like here, you know? These guys were tucked in the shadows a little bit more. I just moved them out and they do seem to be opening up bigger. So hopefully that's all they needed was a little bit more light and they'll start to do what that side is doing. Other than that, I mean, I just have a lot of Sino that I'm trying to deal with. I added the new MP10 recently, but it's only on like 5% because it's super loud since I dropped it and I think I broke it, but I'm going to be replacing the bearings on it pretty soon. So make sure you guys are here for that. I added a dosing pump for alk and calcium. I can't seem to keep my alkalinity that high. I don't know, it keeps dropping. I got too much stuff in there, I guess. My two Radeon XR30 Pros, I kept the water shield on here and then they're just pumped in behind there. I pretty much had to gut out everything in there. I left the stock fans running to the original timer on the Red Sea so that way when these lights turn on, I have the fans turn on additional as well as the fans that are in the XR30 Pros. Oh, he loves to come out and play sometimes. He's very, he's very, very friendly. Very friendly starfish we have here. Ow, and my freaking fish bite me more and more every day. Get away from me. Get away. I'm thinking that since it's my one year update video, I should feed the fishies a little bit of frozen food. I don't do it too often, the corals, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm a slacker, I know, but uh, why not do it now with you guys here? So I got a little a little piece here of uh, the, the frozen food that we made uh, pretty much a year ago. This is what it looks like frozen. It's a bunch of stuff. If I ever run out, we're gonna make some more, but uh, like I said, I don't do it too often, so I have a bunch of it still. I basically just drop it in there, put a little water, give it a couple minutes to unfreeze. Once I do it, I just use the little stick and kind of smush it all down so it becomes a bunch of little pieces and get a little bit more than just water usually. There we go. A bunch of chunks in there and then it's feeding time. Enjoy guys. You guys are probably like, whoa, what is all this? What is all this stuff? I've never eaten this in my life. Oh, hello, yummy. Might as well target feed some of the corals. Oh yeah. Oh, look at them. I should probably do this more often. I'm a bad, I'm a bad fish mom. Eee. We got a big one here. It's going, it's gonna go to mama. All right guys, so that is it. The fish are eating, they are happy. I think they don't really talk to me these days, but that is the full one year update. It is crazy to see how far this tank has come. It's crazy to just think about where it's going to be in a year from now. Is it still going to be here? Is the tank going to be double the size? Is it going to be smaller? Am I going to switch over to a nano tank? I mean, you'll never know unless you guys hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on because we have new fish videos every single Friday. Not only that, but we are almost at the 3,000 subscriber mark. So are you going to be that 3,000 subscriber? Help me get there. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. What are some other pieces you guys think I should get? Should I swap tanks? Do you have a Red Sea Max 250? Do you have a Red Sea Max Reefer? Do you have a Red Sea Max product? I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you like a piece of my, if you like a piece of my tank. I, yeah, I just like the door. Drop a comment. No, my yellow tank is not for sale right now. I'm waiting till the prices go just a little bit higher and then I'll just take them out. <laughs> totally just kidding. But all right, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Later.